For many new and existing chemicals, information about their impact on our health or on the environment is needed. For this reason, new studies on chemical substances need to be conducted to establish their hazard profile. In the European Union, the law requires companies to avoid animal testing whenever possible. Chemicals known as skin sensitizers can cause allergic reactions when they come into contact with our skin. Yet, these chemicals play an important part in our economy and they are used in virtually all industry and business sectors, from metals and plastics to fragrances and pharmaceuticals. We are exposed every day to skin sensitizers, so we need to know which are the substances that might induce skin allergies. Skin allergies are growing and the uh, population is exposed to many allergens. If you look at the world of chemicals, industrial chemicals out there, half of them have to be tested on uh, skin sensitization. Still today, this testing is most commonly done on animals. Yet some evidence exists that animal studies are not always reliable predictors of how our skin might react. An animal is not a human, so we have to extrapolate also from animal tests and, and we cannot test on humans. So there is an uncertainty in both the uh, animal testing and in in vitro. What we aim with the in vitro method is to get the potency out of it. So how strong a sensitizer it is. So then you can apply the correct risk management measures and do the correct classification according to CLP. To help with this, we need really good guidance and really good support. So if you've got that, I think you can really continue to develop and grow uh, these methods and in the end supersede and outclass the traditional animal methods. The biggest uh, challenge is to find a non-animal test or a combination of those that will be simple enough, fast enough and ideally not much more expensive. The EU's chemicals legislation REACH requires non-animal methods for skin sensitization by default when new information needs to be generated. We are pretty close to have uh, the substitution of the animal test, uh, especially in Europe. Other nations or continents, they might have quite strict regulations that they don't even accept alternative methods. It's vitally important that we uh, make rapid progress and implement these methods as soon as possible to stop the suffering of animals in laboratories for these tests. Want to find out more? Visit chemicalsinourlife.eka.europa.eu.